artists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flower vase. So what you're going to need is I have a very long piece of paper and a shorter piece of paper that can be any color. And the first thing I'm going to do, aside from write my name, is I am going to glue that little piece of paper so that it's towards the bottom but it has a little bit of space all around it. You are going to be gluing with a glue stick because when you glue paper to paper, it's almost always best to use a glue stick. Trace the edges and make an X. My glue's extra gluey, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plop it down. I actually like it when my name is on the front of this project, and I like it putting it right down here so I could write my name, Moose Langdon, and get ready to make some awesome flowers. Now, you should draw your flowers in pencil and draw lightly so that you can change anything you don't like. I am going to draw mine with Sharpie just so you can see. So, a couple tricks. One, for a regular flower, anywhere on the above part of my paper, I'm going to start making my flowers. And later on, I'm gonna be painting these so I don't need to make them very um, small. Now, the trick to making my flowers so that the petals don't start going in the weird directions is turn your paper each time you make a petal. That will help you. All right. I'm going to leave it floating for a while and not add a stem. What other shapes can I do instead? You could even make them different sizes. You could make triangles. Uh-oh, this one's going to hit. What should I do? I just go around it. If your uh, flowers want to overlap, just pretend draw. Now this one, I didn't turn my paper as much. Uh oh, that one's gonna go off the page, is that okay? Sure. And therefore that flower doesn't look as good, but that's okay, I can add more details. Maybe I'll add some more petals. This one almost looks like a sun. Maybe I should paint it yellow, it could be a sunflower. What are some other ways we could draw flowers? Well, if you want to make a rose, you make a skinny swirly whirly. So I'm gonna start my swirly whirly and instead of making it really round, do you see I'm making my swirly whirly a little more oval? And then underneath it, I'm gonna attach a big U shape. Done. Or if you wanna get really fancy, make another line here and also add the green thing that goes at the bottom. I'm going to show you one more different type of flower, although there are many types. A tulip. Start with a big, big smile shape and then make a zigzag line. Now all my flowers are just floating. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I like to add those type of things at the bottom, if you could see the bottom of your flowers. Now, when I add the stem, it should it be one line or two lines. I hope you said two lines. And I made sure it went inside the vase. One line, two lines. If you're gonna hit another flower, just jump when you get to it. So like this. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, I gotta make the second line. Jump, 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 jump. I gotta do this one now. Jump, 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 and one more line. I think I'm going kind of quickly but you can look at this example too. One more thing I'm going to add is, roses have thorns, so I can make some thorns. 
If you have a lot of negative space, that's white space left over, maybe add some leaves. They could be fancy shapes. They could be teardrop shapes. Teardrop shapes and fancy shapes are better than triangle shapes for this project. Another teardrop shape. Good thing you'll be drawing in pencil first so you can erase and practice. If you wanna practice a flower, maybe practice on the back before you make it on here. When you're done, you've filled the space, you've added your stems and leaves, that's when you also will be getting a Sharpie to trace your project. All right, everybody, happy arting today.